I'm here again with Dr. Maharaj <laughs> yes. from the South Florida Stem Cell and Bone Marrow Transplant Institute. And I just wanted to talk to you today, Dr. Maharaj, about the possibilities of stem cell treatment uh, healing diabetes 1, which we know is so very much harder to, to, for people to get better from than diabetes 2. Yes. Well, I think that uh, if, we, if we consider type 1 diabetes, which is an autoimmune disease, um, I think, uh, based upon uh, my knowledge of the literature and approaches that different uh, scientists are looking at, what we have found is that if we, in our, st our studies and our work looking at uh, using an individual's own stem cells to be able to regenerate the immune system, and by measuring the immune system and the cells of the immune system before and after the treatment, we found that, in fact, by using the process of stem cell mobilization, um, that we can, inf we can increase the numbers of functioning regulatory T cells within the patients with type 1 diabetes, and that actually will then increase the effectiveness of these regulatory T cells in down-regulating the cytotoxic uh, T8 lymphocytes, which is basically what's causing the disease. Now, if that inflammatory process is decreased, and the pancreas is not too um, badly destroyed, then it's possible to get pancreatic beta cells or the progenitor cells within the pancreas to actually regenerate and produce more insulin. The, the goal is basically to understand the mechanisms of these diseases and then to actually come up with, with safe ways of, and in our case, we use, we're using the individual cells, our own cells, um, and we're not having to extract it or reinfuse it. We're just basically finding ways to be able to allow the stem cells to be able to go to the areas of where they are needed to repair and regenerate. Yeah. And in this case, it's really a regeneration of the immune system. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Not at all. Thank you.